I am Pablo Rosa and we have Mills Mirage. I think art is a form of whether you do it or whether you consume it, doing it and, and looking at it is closer than we can. I think people will will feel like they need something like art now that they don't have. And I think it's also the way to express right now. My name is Charlie Sullivan. The piece in the winter stations was the uh, United States of the Census. Consequence, I guess, is that we, we actually communicate more, probably, than sitting in the same room, because you have to. But the other aspect is that we, we have suddenly developed a, a huge amount of work <laughs> as a consequence of it. And it appears that all of our clients are uh, thinking that they need to create a project, so we've had four projects and they're out of nothing. I'm Alexandra Biliska. I'm Sean McCallum. I'm Ben James. And the piece was called Noodle Feet. How do you bring the things that you're currently not able to have into your, your daily life if you're, if you're stuck inside? The best time for augmented reality <laughs> art to evolve. <laughs> like when you can bring uh, the art piece to your own bedroom, maybe we don't really need museums, maybe we need uh, an app. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems kind of silly, but we just got contacted about doing um, digital art piece for an exhibition, which is meant to be physical, but with the coronavirus now, seems like it will probably become a digital exhibition. The other interesting thing is the art might be able to adapt to someone's space where they are in, where they are looking at it, whether it's a reflection of the textures around them or using the geometry in some way.